Hello, my friends. I want to share with you a couple of things that I've seen pop up today that really um, lift my eyebrows as far as what the Lord has showed me and prepared me of his coming to recognize as things that are like time markers. So in other words, in Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13, and the book of Revelations, we're given a general understanding of what his appearing would look like, what those days would look like. And from that, our individual relationship with God, he gives us insight on other things that aren't necessarily a general insight as he was giving to the body in those chapters of the Bible, but he gives us specific insights on things, things that that we may or may not even see, but things that we know in some way or another they will they will come and they will be fulfilled. And such has been with me with airplanes and with comets. I've constantly been given insights and led to see things happening with airlines, things happening with comets. When you see these things happen, you know that I'm right at the door, I'm near, and that's why I see all these airplane signs and I raise my eyebrows at them because they allow me to understand the closeness of it. United Airlines today delayed all flights nationwide due to equipment outage. Again, an entire airline delaying flights. You had passengers um, they were on board this flight from Atlanta to Barcelona who were forced to turn back because of a biohazard on board of it. And what was that biohazard? Apparently there was a passenger who had such severe diarrhea, it went throughout the entire plane forcing them to turn back. And there are spiritual understandings to all of these things, but for me it's two more signs of something in the airlines that are showing the closeness to the return of Christ. Um, not to get into the entire thing that I made the video on yesterday, but essentially my understanding of this is exactly what the Lord has prepared me to see his coming, to see the very end, to see the rescue of the bride of Christ before the great tribulations. That there's going to come a period of time, a moment in a day, where all kinds of nuclear miss missiles are going to be launched up into the atmosphere heading towards their targets. Uh, and these nuclear missiles, once they're up into the air, there's no stopping them, other than the hand of God himself stopping them, and that is exactly what happens. Um, whenever the nuclear missiles are just about to hit the ground, the Lord stops all time, all physical movement, but we remain conscious during that stoppage of time. We're able to, to comprehend to some extent what is happening, although everybody is essentially in shock. Men's hearts will fail them out of what is coming on the world. In that moment, people will drop dead because of the fear that they're going to experience. As if you're prepared for that fear mentally, yeah, it's going to be something. I can tell you that. If that's how it, if that's how it plays out, if I've been warned properly and properly able to see even a part of the inside of that, just imagine that suddenly you're going about your daily life, you're driving, you're flying, you're at work, you're at home watching TV, and everything stops working around you. Everything stops. It, but it's just you and your conscious looking around. Imagine what that would be like. And even if what I've understood of it is just some kind of a, a broad part of what that's going to be like, you can imagine those who have not been prepared for that moment at all, many of them would drop dead in terror. That's just a human response to something like that. But those of us who have some, some form of preparedness, we're immediately going to recognize what's happening. And that's, that's how you are prepared to meet the Lord. You recognize and you're going to recognize that when something happens that's completely out of the, out of the normal for you, that it's Jesus. It's the Lord coming back. And you're going to understand that and not drop dead out of fear of what's about to happen. So right before those missiles hit the ground, all time has stopped. Um, we're conscious. There's a gigantic earthquake somewhere. There's a shout. You see the dead given new bodies going up to New Jerusalem to the ark where the covenant is. Jesus Christ is the covenant. Uh, you see the dead rise up to meet him. And then those who are alive and those who are alive who know the Lord, we follow after the dead. We go into the ark. The Lord shows us to the entire world. And then the door closes as he reveals to all of those who did not know him exactly that, that he never knew you. 
and that's why you're not going under that ark with him. It wasn't because of your holiness or your righteousness or your unholiness or your unrighteousness. It was simply because you did not take the time to know him. You did not want to get to know him because he's putting himself out there for the whole world. Nobody on that day will be able to claim ignorance from knowing God because he's putting himself out there. We all can know him, but most choose not to. And they choose not to because of the love of money, the love of praise, the tickling ears that want praise of men rather than praise of God. All of these things accomplish that. And it's also to fulfill the scriptures. And this is also how we have saints during the tribulation because many on that day will drop to their knees and weep. They will understand the scales will be removed from their eyes and they'll understand that they missed his coming because they weren't ready for it. But they then understand after they see this event, after their faith is actually fulfilled, there really is the Lord. We weren't just out of our minds and crazy, but we didn't, we didn't get to know him as we should. We got to know each other. Things are going to change in that moment for a lot of them. That's how you have the tribulation saints. That's the beginning of it. But for many of them, they will weep and they will gnash their teeth and they will say, we did all of these things for you, Lord, and you reject us. We will ascend into heaven without you. They will gather with Satan's army and they will join him in the lake of fire because their father is the devil. That will be the two ways that this will go to those who claim to be Christians at this event. So I've seen these events happen with airplanes. We're heading towards September 11th. Um, and there's been many of events happening with airplanes. It's just like, you know, one small thing after the next. But eventually it leads to the cataclysmic event that I've seen all of the airplanes falling out of the sky at once. I believe it happens in the moment that God lets time continue on, lets them destroy the earth. After the ark is closed and those of us who knew the Lord after we are gone and time begins again, there is such a disastrous attack on the world in the twinkling of an eye, like a nuclear splitting of the atom, a twinkling of an eye. It literally means the same exact thing. There's such a destruction in the world that the whole world is turned into darkness from all of the things that go up in the atmosphere from all of the explosions on the ground. The whole world is turned into darkness. And that's when all of the airplanes fall out of the air. As soon as that event takes place, something either destroys their electronic systems from all of the atomic blast or something happens, I don't really know, and it doesn't even really matter. This is just how I've been prepared and understood it from the Lord to expect these days to come. So something even close like this happens that you can recognize by hearing me that that I had been given some form of insight on this take heart don't be afraid in that moment don't drop dead out of fear like many will praise the Lord in that moment because you know finally everything we've been waiting for has come but there's a large group of people out there who have no idea of what's actually happening they will be looking at themselves believing themselves to be holy enough and righteous enough and we've done all of these good works and deeds and we can teach the Lord they will be the ones who will really have no idea in that moment what actually happened. Um, so there's these things that happen with the airplanes. And then there's another thing, the connection to comets um, and the connection to time. We, we know in the scriptures when Jesus is talking about his appearing, all will see like a lightning shown from the east even unto the west, where all of the eagles are gathered, there will be the destruction, or where all the bodies are gathered, there will be the eager, eagles gathered, meaning the destruction, the eagles are lined up to chew on the corpses. Uh, this is shown because what happens after time moves forward, you will have a great death go over the whole of the earth. A third of the population dies from that, from the explosion itself, from the radiation sickness, from the famines, from the disease, everything that happens after that, until Satan regathers the nations again and forms the new world order, essentially. What they've always wanted, what the people of the earth have always wanted to have followed Satan. They will have their opportunity to have that. The nations will be so bruised and beaten that they will form up as a whole in order to try to survive the wrath that is coming over the earth. They will have no part with God. They want nothing to do with them, but they will gather to fight him. And there will be many things of misleading nature ha happen during those times um, because the world 
if you're a leader or you're rich, you can tell the world anything and they'll believe it. So I couldn't even begin to imagine the amount of lies that will be spoken during those days to unite a people to gather to battle God in Armageddon, but it will happen. Um, and a comet has always been a sign that I've recognized of the coming imminency. And I've made videos of the other green comets that we've had in the past. But I want to show you something that ties together um, a very specific thing. Uh, if you go to Genesis, they made a, a song and a music video called The Land of Confusion. And if you watch that music video and you listen to what it's speaking of, You'll see that, of course, you have Reagan and his wife. They're featured in there. An old, bumbling, stumbling president that goes to call for a nurse, and instead he hits the nuke button and launches nukes. Um, kind of reminds you a lot of what you have in office right now with Biden and Jill Biden. They look exactly like that. Even though it was supposed to be Reagan on that music video, it's actually much more relatable to Biden than Reagan was because when Reagan was in office, Yes, he developed dementia afterwards, but during his time as a president, he was a very colloquial speaker. He wasn't like Biden, but Biden is just like the man that's actually portrayed as the president in that video. It's portrayed as Reagan, but it's actually much more like Biden. Um, and this is just the picture of that. If anybody has never not seen that video, go to YouTube and watch it, The Land of Confusion from Genesis. And there's a very specific scene in that video where he hits the alarm clock at 1630. That would be 4.30 Eastern time in the United States, for instance. Even as lightning is shown from the east to the west. Perhaps 4.30 p.m. Eastern time, perhaps that's when it goes down. I don't know, but that's just something interesting that I've made connections to, to say potentially. Um, and then you go forward. Let's look at the disturbed version of this this song land of confusion completely different video it shows more of the the iron horses raised into battle um, but interestingly enough in that video is a green comet fist descending from heaven and that green comet comes down like a nuclear missile to the earth and what do we have passing by us yet again that just came out of its orbit to pass you hear all of these ones talking all over the internet about the repeat of the revelation 12 sign because there's another green comet that suddenly has appeared and then here it is also in the disturbed land of confusion video um, which if you go back to the genesis version that i showed you the original version it's about a stumbling bubbling president launching nukes and an alarm clock going off at 16.30, 4.30 p.m. Eastern. All of these different connections kind of lining up. It shows the imminency. It shows that what the world wants to do, it's right there on its lap. And it won't be able to control itself. It won't be able to contain itself. It will do it because it lusts after destruction and murder and death because its father is the devil and that's what he lusts after. It will happen all these things will be accomplished but for those who know the lord it is a day not of this darkness it is a day of escaping that darkness just as israel just as the hebrews walked as god parted the water and then he let the water come back down and crushed all the egyptian soldiers that's the same thing that happens at the rapture we go into the ark heaven opens up we go up we go in there, the door to heaven is then closed, and then the flood waters come back down over just like what happened then. It's no different now, only it's just different events that are happening. But it's the same context. God never changes. How he operates never changes. And thus what he has done, he will do again. And for our sake, it's in the future. Um, and then if you look at this, immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be dark and the moon will not give its light and stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies are shaken. Perhaps it's the nuclear missiles that come down followed by a comet strike. I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what that's going to look like, but I'm just sharing with you how I've been prepared to understand whenever Christ actually comes, that we're actually going to see it. It's actually going to happen, and you know it because the world is lusting after the destruction of it. You don't need to look at you know, look back like Lot's wife at the physical things in the world, like physical Israel, and put signs to it like God is there and working there. They want no part with God. They're cut off. Physical Israel is cut off. That's why we have New Jerusalem, which is in heaven. But the teachers of the law, none of them can understand this. 
So I just wanted to share these different connections, especially as we're now in September and you can just feel the imminency of this event because everybody now is beginning to say and speak about it and understand something is coming. The whole world, the lukewarm believers, the people who actually know God, when we're all saying the same thing, that it is coming, you can rest assured that it is because God puts that spirit in all peoples, all peoples. Says the prophet Joel, says repeat in Paul and Acts. It's on all peoples to understand that the end is coming. It's not hidden. And thus, when you see all of these events taking place, you know that it's truly right at the door. It's right here now. We don't have to wait for it long. And we're going to witness these things, or things like them, begin to play out over the earth. God bless.